Hi, I'm Ranger Kevin Kleiberg with the John H. Chafee Blackstone River Valley National Heritage Corridor Commission. And I'm here today in Slatersville, Rhode Island, America's first planned industrial village. Now the success of Slatersville meant that it served as a blueprint, not only for other mill villages across the Blackstone Valley, but those all across the United States. To find out a little bit more about how these mill villages worked, let's hear from my colleague Richard Greenwood with the Rhode Island State Historic Preservation and Heritage Commission. Coming into the Blackstone Valley, really the first thing that really strikes you are the mill villages. And by that I don't mean the mills, I mean the mill villages. This is a, uh, a thing that began here in the Blackstone Valley. They first appeared here and then they spread over the Northeast and beyond where you had the mill established and because it was in a remote location, the mill owner had to provide housing for his workers. And the first ones were small, but as industry grew, the villages grew as well. Sometime in the 1830s, President Andrew Jackson came to see Samuel Slater. And he said to him something on the order, so you're the fellow who started all this. And Slater responded, I gave out the lines, and they've been seeing them ever since. You want to talk about importance? This is where the cotton industry began. This is where this incredibly important global and regional phenomenon, we've heard about this, one of extraordinary significance in American history. Its history is the story of the cultivation of cotton and the tragedy of slavery in the Civil War. It's a story that extends to the clothing shops of New York City. It's a story that continued in the South continued further south, Colombia, other parts of South America, continues today in China. Global and regional. Great, great significance in this valley. It's not totally present-minded to say this was the Silicon Valley of the 19th century. 